Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Tiger. And up here today with a movie review, as promised. I'm going to be reviewing the 1988, I think it was 88, yeah, 1988 classic Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. And I just want to state on the record, um, I know Michael Jackson was the bun of a lot of uh, controversy and it just seems like that's everything we hear about Michael Jackson now. Anything new that comes out about Michael Jackson is, is about, you know, all of the controversy. Um, I don't know if I believe it or not. To be honest, I don't fucking care, to be honest. I mean, if he did do that stuff, then okay, that's wrong. But like, like many things, um, Hollywood and, you know, actors, musicians... If you can take their private life from their entertainment life um, separate, then then that's a good thing, you know. Uh, you know, there's, there's there's people out there that won't watch a movie because the actor in it was was uh, was found that he did something wrong or she did something wrong. Um, I think you know a lot of the time you got to bear in mind that a lot of people. Um, work on movies and musicians and stuff like that TV shows so if one person does something that ruins the entire show um, then that person is at fault not the actual show or movie itself um, but Michael Jackson whether you like him or not there's no denying he is the king of pop you know he had <laughs> one of the best music careers out there you know a lot of musicians and entertainers owe a lot to Michael Jackson um you know some of the best music of all time some of the best music videos of all, all time one of the best dancers of all time you know legend in his own right um you know leave him to rest now is all I'm gonna say but I just want to put that on record I love Michael Jackson's music I love everything about the music and uh, and the dance and the videos um I don't care about all the private life and all the, the extra stuff that happened I, I can push that aside and just enjoy um at face value the actual uh, entertainment of Michael Jackson but Moonwalker Man, this took me back. I I had this on VHS as a kid, and I used to watch this all the time. Um, this it says right here a rare glimpse into this musical genius. This it says on here a music a movie like no other, and and that's correct. This is kind of a, a tale of two tapes, basically. The first half of the movie is like clips from his music, and the second half of the movie is the actual short film essentially um it starts off with him doing a, a live um uh studio or an actual concert of man in the mirror and obviously it's taking clips from all um part different concerts he did doing man of the mirror um and it's surreal just how crazy the fans were back in the day there were people passing out people crying screaming um vomiting trying to get on the stage it was crazy um it has a great some great imagery of course a lot of stuff that was happening at the time political and in the world you know the cold war era and all of that stuff and the kids in africa and everything which is obviously in tone with the actual song um that part of the movie the opening part just sort of sets the tone for just how big michael jackson truly was on the stage you know he was a huge star and then it goes into the clips variant and it starts off with like a young Michael Jackson, the Jackson 5, showing clips. Um, and though it shows up like a pan of all of this uh, memorabilia of Michael Jackson and then it's got like actual um, sound bites in the background of like some of the um, talk shows he was on and some of the people talk shows like the Ed Sullivan show and all of that, people talking about him. Um, and then it does some clips, uh, a bunch of different clips from a ton of his songs. You know, you've got songs on here like, um, you know, you've got, uh, you've got um, like all of the Jackson 5, like ABC on there, you know, uh, Can You Feel It, uh, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. And the music videos are just, the clips are, is, is visually stunning. It's very surreal um, and a little bit like, uh, it can be a little bit, it's almost hallucinogenic, almost acidic, if you will. Very in your face, very 80s, um, 70s and 80s-esque. Um, very sort of 
wow hippie stuff almost um and then obviously it shows a bunch of clips some of the more famous ones like clips from thriller of course there was actually a thriller um, making of documentary on vhs but i don't think they ever released it on dvd um and yeah and then it goes into three full length live action well like a three part thing basically um then it goes into um basically where it got like a bunch of kids um doing uh, a spoof if you will of bad called badder um of course it's meant to be a young michael jackson but it isn't actually him it's a bunch of kids doing bad and it's actually well choreographed and of course i know a lot of people are going to be on oh, all kids again forget that just forget that for now uh and then um it sees michael jackson walking out of the studio turning back into actual michael jackson and then it comes into like this part where he's on the, like um uh like a studio uh like an actual film studio if you will uh, and then it's got all of these like claymation um people and creatures that are chasing after him trying to get pictures of him and all of this stuff and then he goes into like a room and he comes out in, in a claymation um outfit is the bunny rabbit called spike is he's actually called spike a bit of trivia there and then it goes into the speed demon music video and speed demon music video is it's surreal it's so good it's i think speed demon is one of his underrated songs but the live act if you haven't seen the music video for speed demon i highly recommend checking it out um it was just awesome and then it goes into the full length version of leave me alone and leave me alone um is a great song i love most of his music but leave me alone is again a real is a trip of a song i mean it's a it's a trip of a music video there's so much crazy shit going on it's unbelievable um but the first half of the movie is, is basically that it's, it's more into the music um side of things but it's, it's just awesome so some rare stuff on there some stuff that you won't find or anywhere else that's exclusive to moonwalker and then it goes into moonwalker or smooth criminal if you will which is basically a um like a, i think it's like 40 minute long like a short film if you will um or maybe a, like a mini a medium short film <laughs> um basically it had these three kids again i know kids but three kids basically in this sort of rural town basically in in the dark um and they come outside and they see michael jackson coming out of a uh a music shop and getting gunned down by these um unknown soldiers if you will um and then it goes to a, a flashback of michael jackson playing with the kids i know i know a lot i'm gonna get a lot of comments about that but just just forget that just playing with these kids in the field and then they go into this they find this cave um, that belongs to this um, evil guy known as Mr. Big, played by Joe Pesci. And oh, Joe, Mr. Big is hilarious in this. Joe Pesci was just a great, did a great job. It's cheesy, it's stupid. And they basically uncover that Mr. Big is basically trying to plot this, um, uh, trying to get kids around the world addicted to his drugs basically crack heroin all of that stuff um so there is a bit of a psa going on there um you know anti-drugs and stuff which is a good thing um against kids uh and then um obviously it goes back to the modern times because joe pesci finds out or mr big sees michael jackson um so it basically gives a, a bit of a backstory as to why these army people are trying to kill him and then it has the scene where he's just running away um there's some great cinematography especially on the scene where it has the um the dogs in the background in slow motion you see him running in slow motion very some great cinematography there um great stuff really to be honest um and then it gets into some weird stuff it gets quite weird quite fast he basically gets cornered and he turns into a car yes michael jackson is a transformer essentially <laughs> he turns himself into a car basically um and then obviously the kids uh, were told to go to um this club which is now abandoned there's nothing in there um and obviously it kind of haunted if you will um and then michael jackson turns up goes into the club and then it becomes booming with life and that's when the smooth criminal um 
song plays the full length version of Smooth Criminal. And I've got to say, that is one of the best. I mean, Thriller is probably the best um, music video Michael Jackson ever did. But Smooth Criminal, it is so well choreographed. I mean, it is one of some of the best dancing you ever see. One of the best music entertainment you ever see. If you if you don't want to watch the whole thing, just look up the Smooth Criminal full length part on YouTube or something for that alone. I mean, the song is classic, but it's so well done. Um, and then obviously it has um, the kids basically get kidnapped by Mr. Big. And obviously Michael Jackson has to go to this evil lair, if you will. Um, and all the guards are pointing guns at him. And then obviously the um, Joe Pesci is slapping. It's hilarious because he's he, literally Joe Pesci has like three things in this movie. Um, screaming and shouting, get him, get him, get him, get him. I want him, I want him. Um, Telling he's going to try to give drugs to kids and slapping around a kid. He's just slapping this little girl around and, and saying I'm going to pump her full of heroin or whatever he's got in his syringe. Um, and then Michael Jackson turns into Mecha Jackson. He basically goes full on Mecha Godzilla and turns into a giant robot and shoots lasers and rockets at all of the guards. It's... It could possibly be one of the best transformation scenes into a robot I've ever seen. And it's still, it's very, it's a bit outdated, but it still looks pretty awesome. And then obviously, um, after he's finished all the guard, uh, Mr. Big runs away, basically. And Michael Jackson turns into a spaceship. Um, and then obviously he's about to fly away. And then Mr. Big's on a giant gun and shoots down the spaceship. And is about to shoot the kids. And then... The spaceship comes back and shoots, uh, blows him up. And then the movie just sort of um, goes back. And obviously they all the kids are upset because they think Michael Jackson's disappeared and he's not coming back. And then he turns up, takes the kid to the club. And then it comes to the, they it goes to the final um, like live action on stage concert basically where he's singing i think it's um come together which is the end of the movie but i actually i actually don't remember that bit from the vhs as a kid i mean it probably was on there but i i remember after the spaceship part and him taking the kids into the club i just remember that being the end um or at least that's probably where i finished watching it um there are some some cool like end credit scenes um you have the um a bunch of like african americans doing the smooth criminal they're doing they're dancing to like um i think it's like tribal music or something um and there are some behind the scenes little parts going on um but that's it really um i mean this movie just it holds up to me it's cheesy but it, it's a great look if, into michael jackson's work really um the only problem i have with i want to get a blu-ray version of this because it is on blu-ray um, it is like $7.99. I do want to get the updated version, of course. Um, the Blu-ray has the um, artwork, the same artwork that the VHS one has, or at least similar artwork with the um, the face of Michael Jackson. Where this is probably where the um, this UK edition has the uh, this uh, this design, which I do like. Um, but Moonwalker, my only gripe I have with this. Um, all three versions, VHS, DVD and Blu-ray, have no special features. Um, I think they could have easily have added some special features. This even on the Blu-ray version. I'd love to see maybe Moonwalker get a um, like a, an anniversary edition on 4K with like some because there were behind the scenes footage done for this movie. There are behind the scenes footage out there, but they was never like done as a full documentary it would be awesome to maybe do a um like an anniversary edition on 4k which includes the movie obviously with 4k versions and back behind the scenes footage maybe some interviews from people who worked on it like joe pesci i know obviously we can't hear anything new from michael jackson but maybe some rare interviews um maybe some full length other full length um bonus features like full length music videos of his included on here maybe some of the ones that only had clips maybe have a full length version music video and obviously it would be awesome to maybe see um include the um thriller documentary as well the making of thriller 
documentary included on that disc is well, on on that um as a bonus feature as well. That would be awesome. That's just what I'm hoping that they do one day. I don't know if they ever will, but that's something I am hoping for. Um, Moonwalker was very influential for its time. It even spawned some video games. There was a video game on the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive, um, which was like a 2D action platformer, which is a very um, iconic game actually. And it was a, one of the reasons why Sega actually did so well, because my, when, when people found out Michael Jackson, you got to bear in mind in the 80s and 90s, Michael Jackson was as popular as ever. In fact, he was more popular then than he ever was at all that was that was the height of his career basically the 80s and 90s was the height of michael jackson's career so when a video game came out about it you know kids were going to love that and this was before all of that drama and um all of those um drama and uh, controversy came out about him anyway um and there was also an arcade um, moonwalker game which i think was included on one of the compilation discs um, I think it was on one of the PS2 compilation discs because I remember playing it on my PS2 as a kid and I'm not entirely sure which one it's on. Um, but that one was like a, up to four players. You, it was like an isometric um, shoot em up almost, beat em up kind of game. Um, and it was also available on like some MAME and stuff. So you probably, I think I might have it included on my modern Xbox. But Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, this movie is, is like no other. It, it, it's still great to go back and it looks awesome to this day. Some great visual imagery, some great editing and, and stuff like that. It is a bit cheesy. The, the final smooth criminal movie, if you will, is, is quite cheesy. But, I mean, I would love for this to get a 4K special edition with a bunch of special features. Um... I don't know who did this, um, who did uh, Warner Brothers. So, Warner Brothers, if you're listening, come on. I know that, that people don't want to do stuff to do with Michael Jackson now. Um, it's a very touchy subject. But if we can just forget that for a minute and bring out a new version of Moonwalker, I think fans of the movie will eat it up. Because, I mean, I know a lot of people hate on Michael Jackson, but I think there's more um, lovers of Michael Jackson's artistic side and his entertainment side than haters of his personal life i think um if, if i'm being honest so overall i'm gonna give this this one gets an 8.5 out of 10 for me maybe even a 9 it holds up to me it, it lives down to my memory and it's got nostalgia for me so i love this one um unfortunately there isn't really any other michael jackson other than this is it but that was more of a um a documentary on his last concert before he died basically and um, any other things Michael Jackson unfortunately is all slander based stuff so um, this one is definitely worth picking up um, if you can hunt it down um, I'll probably upgrade it to blu-ray but I'll probably keep the dvd because it has different artwork um, and maybe try and hunt down the vhs version just because it's one of my all-time classic and favourite childhood. And I'll try and hunt down the, VH, uh, the video game as well. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's um, review. Um, I haven't done many movie reviews, but I wanted to do something different here. Um, I was actually going to watch a movie tonight, but I'm actually going to be playing some um, a game called Unpacking. And I'm going to do a review on Unpacking coming this week. Um, I've also got another movie review coming for Recoil. So, of course, comment below. Let me know if you watch Moonwalker. And let me know what is your favourite Michael Jackson song. My favourite Michael Jackson song has probably got to be either Smooth Criminal or Beat It. Those are, I mean, most of his music is amazing anyway. But they're probably my top two. Um, and Human Nature is pretty good as well. Um, and as always, guys, subscribe if you haven't already. And join the family. I might stream tonight when I'm playing the unpacking game. I think I will actually because I want to maybe upload some footage of it actually because I think it's a really cool game. Um, so I might actually do a stream of that tonight. So I'll probably be playing it for about an hour, an hour and a half or so. Um, so I'll probably stream that actually and upload that um, to, later on tonight so you can see it before I do the review of it. And as always, guys. Follow, follow me on Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, The Mad Kyger. And as always, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.